Moon here from Genetic Life Hacks. I'm going to share a topic with you today that's kind of important and honestly it could save somebody's life just knowing their genes. So when you think about a heart attack, you probably think about the overweight older guy who's eating bacon covered donuts um, and you'd assume that his risk of heart attack is high. And to be honest, being obese does increase the risk of heart disease by about 35%. So, but there's another risk factor for heart attack that increases it by about 300%. And it's a silent risk factor that isn't tied to looking like your stereotypical heart attack waiting to happen type of person. So what I'm talking about here is elevated lipoprotein A or little LP little a. So a lipoprotein is a particle that carries LDL cholesterol and other proteins. This isn't a blood marker that's commonly tested when you go to the doctor, unless you tell your doctor that you're worried about a family history of early heart attacks or something like that. So most often, elevated LPA is due to genetics. It's estimated to be about 90% heritable, which means that the genetic component of lipoprotein A is really pretty huge. So if you've done genetic testing, 23andMe, Ancestry, whatever, you can check your genetic raw data to see if you carry the LPA gene variant. Here's what to check for, and I'll put them up on the screen for you as well. So the first SNP is actually the, the biggest risk factor. So check your raw data for RS3798220. If your genotype is CC or CT, you're at an increased risk for having elevated lipoprotein A. There's a second SNP that also increases the risk, um, but the increase in risk isn't quite as much as for that first SNP. So you need to check your genetic data for RS104. 55872. If you have GG or AG as your genotype, you're likely to have elevated lipoprotein A. So what can you do if you have these genetic variants? Well, the only way to really know what your lipoprotein A level is, is to actually get a blood test done. You can get that done through your doctor, or you can actually go online and order one yourself through places like Ulta Lab Test. If you're not going to go to the doctor, I would suggest going ahead and just ordering a lab test yourself so that you know what your LPA levels are. So if you've enjoyed this or if you want to know more information, head over to geneticlifehacks.com. There you're going to find hundreds of articles on how to use your genetic data and um, how to optimize your health based on what your genes are. So thanks for watching.